throughout Black History Month, I will be honoring pioneers through a series I'm calling Fade to Black. It's a play on words. And I'm glad to start with fashion expert Cheryl Ann Wadlington. Just by the way she carries herself and dresses to the nines and speaks, you can tell that she strives for perfection in everything she does. I had some very intense uh, training to be to be the best. You know, I mean, back then you couldn't get away with, <laughs> with what these kids get away with today. And one thing I always say uh, to young people now, I say, you want to get to the point where even your mistakes are correct. Cheryl has an immaculate eye for fashion and her her accolades speak for themselves. She's contributed to numerous fashion houses and publications including Vogue and Elle, and she's often styling clients and sharpening their look through her company, Evalor Consultants. She has been to countless New York fashion weeks, but I knew when I interviewed her, I needed to be dressed to impress. And of course, she showed me a thing or two on how I could even up my style. Maybe even pop uh, some sunglasses on now. You know, some people say if it's nighttime, you don't need to wear it. That's a lie. But Cheryl will tell you making a name for herself in the fashion world wasn't easy, especially being a woman of color. When I came through the fashion industry, it was a completely different time. This was way before Naomi Campbell and Tyra Banks. Uh, this was when um, it was rare to see a black woman at the mantle of anything in the fashion industry. I remember uh, the you know Madison Avenue insiders used to call and ask the agents for a uh, woman that was nondescript, they would call it, meaning you couldn't tell if she was black or white. So um, I, I actually never paid that no mind. Cheryl started what is known as the Evalor House, a program that emphasizes academics, and she makes sure that these girls have the foundation to achieve success. The goal of Evalor House is to make sure that marginalized girls of color uh, finish high school on time and get in college. And so far, 1,200 girls have graduated from Evalor program over the past 12 years. And so um, if I could be proud of anything, I am so happy about that. Her work has been honored and highlighted by the White House and guess what? She is far from done. Programs like this are so important too because if you really want to break the cycle of incarceration and things like that, they need mentors, they need people to look out for them and the work that she sounds like she's doing is amazing and that's really what's going to change society. It's not even just people that could possibly be incarcerated, it's people that could be even better than they already are in their field. And I just say it's a reminder to us all that if you have talents and, um, and you can give back to others, most certainly use that gift to empower the next generation.